so we're back once again today in Hunter Primal, and I've been super excited to get back out here and actually take a look at this. I think this is a dinosaur egg? It takes down scent camo, apparently only for a minute. So we'll probably go ahead and take a hold of the shotgun with buckshot just in case. There is a triceratops over there. So we're going to be kind of avoiding those for the most part unless we would find another uncommon one. Because we're out here with one specific goal in mind, and that is to get a gun big enough to take a T-Rex and then eventually do that. So hopefully we can manage. We'll see if we can find some decent equipment and get working towards that. And in the meantime, I'm sure we'll probably have some Utah Raptors or something that want to say hi. And we'll kind of have to see if any of these guys actually decide to chase us. But they are one that will swoop down and attack you. And as far as I know, the damage they do is pretty significant. So I think having the Buckshot is going to be good. And we'll just sort of keep our eyes on them because they're because they're flying around i think they'll be tough to take down without using a good bit of ammo and that's not something we have that's very expendable at the moment but like i said hopefully we can acquire some decent equipment and at least we know there's one flying around and to keep an eye out for it i gotta think it knows we're here i expect it to probably try to come after us i'm just not too sure how they do it i almost want to just try to hit it but i think it will and it's probably best kind of like the Velociraptors to do that when they sort of attack. We definitely hit it. Probably hit it again. I think they do just continue attacking, so we can try to hit them one more time. Or two times. A little faster shot would have been ideal. And this is definitely not the best that we're losing as much health as we are. I just want to kind of get it out of here, but it's tougher than I thought it would be. There we go. Did it drop right up there? I thought it was closer to us. I guess it's not too surprising it survived that much buckshot because it's pretty big. We hit it a total of three times, so I guess we weren't doing as well as I thought, but at least we got it down. It's a female that weighs almost 200 kg, so maybe decent size? I'm really not sure. I don't think we're going to trophy shot that because I always kind of get a little bit skittish trying to do that when we're firing weapons and we don't know what's around. So we'll sort of just keep moving instead of getting stuck there. And there's some equipment for us at this spot, so kind of potentially having to deal with stuff to come and get it. There is a 308 though, and a cool hat. So we'll bring that. We have 33 rounds of 308 ammo now, and that should potentially help us. I'm really not sure that's enough to take on a T-Rex. We might try it, but I definitely wouldn't mind getting one of the bigger calibers. And I think this is kind of like a respawn from last time we got the compound bow, which I do know is at least capable of taking out a T-Rex. We got a handgun scope too, so we got a lot of stuff. The clothing we got is actually pretty decent. We're already straight into a camo hat instead of the one we got. And then better pants too, if we can put them in the right spot. So we'll get everything equipped here. And we'll at the very least kind of consider going after a T-Rex. I'm not sure yet, but maybe we could try that. I think despite the fact that we're really not in any position to be wasting compound arrows, I want to see if we can hit this trike with one and just sort of see what that does. We managed with the longbow last time, and it did okay. I think we're going to have to fire another here. But that got him down within two. I think that was actually a female one, but we still have 12 left. We have the 308 rifle. I think we should do it. I think we're in a better spot now than we've been in in a while. And rather than end up using more ammo just looking for stuff, I think we'll at the very least give it a shot. If we could manage to claim this, that would be nice. I'm not sure where we need to be standing. Managed to heart shot it, I think, on the second one. And the first was just a single lung, so no surprise that it survived. But we'll go and try to get close enough to one to take it with the bow. And I guess if that doesn't work well, we'll kind of try to run backwards and get some 308 rounds in it. Well, at least we found what we're after. That is a male T-Rex from 57 to 5800 kg. I actually happen to notice there is some equipment right over here though. So we might as well take advantage of the spawn. So we managed to find him again after checking the equipment in those boxes and between the two, there's not much that's gonna help us with this. So we're kind of going at it with what we had, but I can kind of see this going two different ways. We can spend forever because they move so quickly just trying to get within bow range or we can kind of get his attention that was quite loud and pretty much deal with it from there so i want him to turn and let us maybe take a chest shot on him with the 308 and then as he gets closer 
I'm hoping to use the bow. So he's kind of turning our way. We'll try to hit him in the chest. I really would have preferred for him to get closer first. Let's try to hit him one more time. And then we're going to start using the bow and backing up. Hopefully, a chest shot or two is going to help us here. Still not dead. Still not dead, and he's kind of not happy with us. Okay, this might not have worked as well as I thought. Huh. To be honest, I thought that was going to go a little smoother. Alright. Get to know how quick they move. So I've sort of accidentally discovered something. That is not the same T-Rex. It's a female, but it's way bigger. And our male is actually over this way. There's three of them in the area. I'm really not too sure what to do. But as much as I don't want to abandon that male, with the female being as big as it is, I kind of want to go for it. And I, I swear it's a little bit different. Like it's got some red around the toes that I don't think the others have. And I think it's a little more of like a darker color, but probably that means our odds aren't very good of getting it. But like there's some lighter green up around his like nose area. Or this one doesn't have that, so I guess we're going to hang out here. We're going to wait till she gets close and do our best. Honestly, we've gotten ourselves into a situation where we don't have a whole lot to lose. We just keep going back and getting our equipment anyway. But I'd love to try to get her down. It would just be better if the males would walk out of render so they don't hear the shots. So we got the other male out of render. We're just going to do this and see what happens. I really don't love our odds, but we might as well. I really want her to be broadside when we take our first shot. That didn't hit anywhere near where I had hoped. We did see... Ooh, that was actually a decent shot. We did see that it seems like the damage is, like, staying. We're gonna get up and get out of the way here, hopefully survive. Maybe that's a decent hit. I'm trying to, like, hang on to some stamina to run around when she does this again. We're getting some decent hits in her this time. And now we gotta get out of the way. Well, we tried. I really wonder if that's a T-Rex that I was told about. It's called like a Battle Warn or something. And those, I think, give us something that we need. So I really wanna try to get that. I think we did okay. But uh, yeah, she's pretty pleased with how she did. That's gonna be her. And if she's kind of standing still, I think we'll just kind of start this again. Try to go for a chest shot if we can. Look pretty good. And real quick, we're going to kind of move away and equip the shotgun with buckshot while it's kind of far away. Although that was not the smoothest thing that I've ever done. Can we actually equip stuff? I'm thinking that might be better because we're low on arrows. So we'll try to hit her with the bow first. We'll do the same sort of thing where we let her get close and then run out of the way. Hopefully that's not just going to immediately cost us. That seems to be a decent strategy. And we're getting some decent hits. So hopefully... Oh! Hopefully we got it figured out. I was going to say, we were getting better at it as we went along. Finally we got her down. That is a female T-Rex. We hit it 14 times. Which, we only died once, that's not too bad, considering what we did with the other. I really just don't know if that's the one, like I said. It's supposed to drop something, I think, if it is, and that might happen after this. Sadly, we never put our cool clothing back on, but I'm glad we finally kind of have a strategy for this. I wish a little more of the grass went away, but that looks really cool, and for all that took, I'm really pleased with the way all that went, and we turned out with a really cool spot to bring her down, better than the first spot for sure on the side of that hill. Now, does she drop anything? I don't think so. So I guess that's not like the Battle Warren or Battle Scarred. I don't remember what it was called. Anyway, we have a male T-Rex to take down. I really don't want it to get away, and because we ended up getting it pretty quickly, I think we can still manage. I'm not sure what's down here yet, because I thought we grabbed everything from where we died before. We'll check it quick before we go, and then he should be somewhere kind of to our north. I just cannot seem to find that same T-Rex. There's definitely been others around, but we know from what we've seen so far, there's just no way that we're going to be consistently taking them out, especially without any more compound arrows, so 
I figured we'd at least try the 308 on a Triceratops. Because I'm curious just to see like what the difference is. Because we know it doesn't do that well on the T-Rex. So we'll try to make a vital hit here. Look pretty good. I hope it is actually charging us. Because that's going to make it easier. Assuming that we survive anyway. So honestly, I think that is showing us enough. We've done this with Buckshot before. I really don't want to die to a Triceratops after all this. But clearly... We just don't have the right weapons right now. I don't know how we're even alive. Hopefully that's going to bring it down. I really did not intend on making so much noise over here, but... Yeah, I mean, we might have decent guns, but it's quite clear why we weren't doing that well with the T-Rex, given the way that went. So, of course, we're just still kind of getting started out here. So, I don't know, but I feel like from what we saw there... The 308 is more of like a long range way to maybe deal with the Utah Raptors and maybe stuff like that. It's just really not that good it seems on the bigger dinosaurs and quite honestly I'm really pleased that we did get the female T-Rex in the end and it only actually killed us once so maybe we're getting somewhere there if we have the bow. But I think between this time and next we're going to go off and get some better equipment. I actually did find some 50 cal rounds when we were running around just trying to find that male T-Rex but no guns to go with them so... That's going to be the goal before next time we'll hopefully have something a little better and we'll start focusing on T-Rex and hopefully try to find the rare battle worn one that I mentioned because that can lead to some pretty cool stuff down the road. But anyway, good to get out here, good to actually get a T-Rex down and pretty cool to actually get to, I think now have one of every dinosaur in the game since we shot the, I don't know how to pronounce it, the Quetzal something, the uh, flying ones, but pretty cool to actually do that and like I said, Looking forward to getting better guns and having a little more of a fighting chance against the T-Rex. So anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.